<laughs> Mom, Dad. Who'd you put in your airstream? I see a lion. Can I get some feed? Um, yeah, I guess yeah. you can feed them. <laughs> that looks like a pretty fun airstream. We're wrapping up our stay at McKinney Falls State Park. Um, it's been a great park. Yeah. Great city. It's been a blast. Um, it's like you're in Austin, but not in Austin. So highly recommend it if you're in the area. We have to get out of here though, because <laughs> we always eat way too much in Austin. <laughs> Just the food is so good. And, uh, we start carrying it around with us. So we have to, we have to move on usually. <laughs> Almost two years ago, we met some friends, uh, their YouTube channel Streaming Freedom. And the funny thing is at the time when we met them, we had our class A and uh, they had an Airstream. They had the like uh, the family bunkhouse layout, which has the bunks in the back, but they have three boys. So like they came over, they're over here right now, but uh, Getting a head start. No, 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 I'm not cheating. I saw your water and it's not hooked up. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one cheating over there. <laughs> We're actually gonna like kind of race and see how long it takes for us to unhook with our Airstream and how long it takes them with their class A to unhook with that. But uh, kind of like the breakdown process, like how fast it goes. Yeah, can yeah, we'll break time down it. The we'll fastest. see. Because I know I, we wondered, like, I think it's pretty close now. But I was concerned, like, part of getting a travel trailer, it's like it's going to take us so much longer to break this thing down than a class A. So we'll see how it goes. And so after we met each other, they toured our class A. We looked at their Airstream and we thought, man, <laughs> You know, we weren't sure if we wanted Airstream or not yet, but we thought we could go smaller. We could do something small like this because we were in a national forest and it was just easier to get around with that thing. And we had our big clunky class A in the national forest. And it was very, we were technically taking up two sides. They weren't charging <laughs> us for two, but so uh, the, the funny thing is after we met within, I guess the next six months, we swapped to an Airstream, which is what they had. <laughs> and then they swapped to a class A, very similar to uh, the size of the class A we had. Probably could have saved a lot of money and energy just swapping right there on the spot. But <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when we met them and um, they had an airstream? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it just shows you that you know you can just kind of make adjustments as your family needs change, and that's okay. I need to see the cat. Okay, we'll go see the cat. <laughs> They've got a pretty cool layout on their class A. We're gonna check that out. So this is Matt and Molly's rig. They got three boys. One, two. What are you hiding over there? Three. So they bought the uh, Fleetwood 35E, but it's actually 36 and a half feet long. Yeah, come on in. We're gonna check it out and show you guys why we think this thing is so cool. I know they do too. Here's Matt and Molly. Hey guys. Welcome, welcome to our home. Hello. <laughs> yes. So we got, what, two slides? One yep. there. And, yep. one in the and then back. one in the back. And uh, it's got the bunks here, but this all the, this is like this is the sweet stuff. This is what you don't see. This is a diesel motorhome. Yeah. But it has the that comes down the front, right, for the bed. Yeah, you can't get this usually because diesels usually have the door up front. Mm -hmm. But because it's got the mid-entry door, which very few of the models or even companies do, other than Fleetwood, uh, you get that option. Because that was kind of you guys wanted to go to a motorhome, but you wanted that yeah for we the boys wanted each boy to have their own space yeah yeah we didn't want to convert anything yeah we wanted like be to, making up the bed every day yeah, in this we area didn't want to have to do that. all that kind of stuff because we had a gas which ours could carry some weight but it didn't have the power of what you're going to get with diesel and you guys have got a good amount of storage i think i saw it had like 4700 pounds of cargo which is really good yeah for a motorhome um compared to a gas especially and you guys are towing i think i see it out here yeah you met this <laughs> towing serious black out here we're supposed to be super jealous of that. <laughs> but yeah, those are like all the pros of having the diesel that usually when you're a family, you're like, well, we can't do a diesel motorhome because of the layout, but this got the layout. It's been right for us. It, it was the perfect fit for our family mm. and the right move from the yeah. Airstream. It was so hard to say though. We still love Airstreams. We see ourselves one day buying an Airstream again. When they come out with the, the class A Airstream that they need to do, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll totally The 40 foot that. Airstream trailer. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> and, Honestly, we have to give credit to you guys because it was walking through y'all's. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that actually convinced us that maybe as good as the Airstream would work. And, and I think it's perfect for you guys with the three of you, you know, and maybe even four kids even. But when you start going five and there's three in the back seat in the drive, it's just, it was, it was tough for us. Well, and you guys, you're in RV parks a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and when you do drive, you, sometimes you do really long stretches and fast amounts of time. Yeah. And so though the combination of those two things makes this a more viable option. Well, love it. Love it guys. Right. And if you didn't know this layout was out here, it's out. So check yeah. it out. So Matt has issued a challenge to us to see whose RV 
can be taken down and ready for the road the fastest. We've got some automatic stuff, but you don't have to hook up the Jeep. That's gonna probably give you some time. Um, this is gonna be a tough competition for sure. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that something's gonna break down. Like if one of your motors will go out while you're going, <laughs> like it's it's a done deal. It wouldn't surprise <laughs> me. <laughs> I might have to get Tyler to hijack the process. <laughs> yeah, he's got his kids ready to sabotage, I think. Neither of us really has that much stuff out. Uh, we do have like Hensley's toys and the grill, but we're not factoring that stuff in. We're just gonna assume we got a clean slate. We're gonna start breaking this thing down, see how long it takes. We are done. <laughs> He's still finishing up the last bit with the motorhome. We have a small advantage because we're in a state park and it's a tighter fit, but you never know what the terrain's gonna be or where you're gonna be at. We're still hooking up their Jeep, but that's all he's got left. So we're like 16, 17 minutes, and I'm gonna guess I got a few more minutes to go. So nothing crazy technical about this race. I'm sure there's other factors that could come in that would make it, maybe we'd be a little slower, they'd be a little faster and whatever. But I think in general, I think you could at least say, like if you got a travel trailer with no slides like an Airstream versus a Class A that has some slides, I mean, there's a good chance you could be faster. I'm just over here to gloat. You guys carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember, at least for us, like we could hook up our Subaru to the back of the motorhome faster than I could hook up the van to the Airstream. So that part is still a pain with the motorhome, but it was a little bit faster. Donut time, Hensley. That's what time it is. That's where we're going. Is this highly recommended? I took your line. Highly recommended, yes. From a local. Those are the best. <laughs> Just a note, if you're trying to park here, like, it's pretty tough. <laughs> we had to circle, circle around what felt like five times to find something. We're not even sure if we're that close. Do we know where it's at? No. <laughs> Could be a bit of a walk. Look at this line. We're in the right place. <laughs> I know which one I want. <laughs> the Texas. The Texas size round one. That's what I'm talking about. Hensley, you want this big donut? Look at this one. Is that? No, you want the pink, pink. one? Pink. Which one? Oh, you want the pink one? Yeah. What we got here? Well, they accidentally gave us a chocolate instead of a pink one, so then we got an extra one. We got an extra. <laughs> Dude, we got to do that. Because Hensley had. Ooh, that's soft, I, babe. Don't put your Ow. fingers all over <laughs> my donut. <laughs> it is. You can't even pick them up; they like fall up to pieces. Oh, that's what I like. Wow. Yeah. So that's super like soft. Didn't somebody say they made these with um the egg yolks? I don't know. It looks it looks more yellow than usual. It does. So I'd agree with that. This is just the world famous round rock glaze. We'll try it. That's pretty good. Pretty good. What'd you get? The Bismarck. Greenfield. That's good. Daddy, I'm having a nice day. Are you? Because that's your second donut of the day, isn't it? <laughs> You having a nice day? <laughs> I am having a nice day. Thanks for asking. Green key, do the green one. 
Here you go. Good job. She is her daddy's little mini me. She loves to help him do everything. She is crazy about him. Are you helping? Ah, push that button right there. Good job. All right, let's see if it goes. Watch the numbers. It's going. Good job. How about? Woo! We've made it to our next spot. I think the Airstream, in a sense, uh, compared to the Class A, has spoiled us a little bit as far as location. We've definitely been able to stay in more rustic locations with the Airstream. We used to stay in more RV parks with the Class A because we were either scared to go in those locations or we couldn't get into those locations that felt outdoorsy. So we park at RV parks 30 minutes, 60 minutes away from where we went. <laughs> We, we had some bumpy roads on the way here. We would usually stay in RV parks like 30 minutes, 60 minutes outside of where we want to be and drive our Subaru in and it worked. Um, that's what you need to do with a long rig sometimes, but just haven't done this as often. But Marissa's excited for full hookups. Finally. <laughs> yeah, that's like a treat, so. Mm. Hensley still got her doorbell. What, she's, I don't even know what's going on. She's got a toothbrush in her mouth. And she's still eating, she hasn't even eaten yet. Hensley, you're a goober, you know that? Did you have a good day today? Uh -huh. Also excited to have the little competition with Matt from Streaming Freedom <laughs> on Class A versus Travel Trailer. Um, I was impressed. I've never actually timed how long it took me to take down the Airstream, but it did pretty well. It's definitely less labor intensive with the Class A. It's a lot more automatic stuff and all that. I think it it took him a little longer because he had to move out in the road and mm -hmm. hook the Jeep up. But yeah. That would be a sacrifice I would be willing to take to have a Jeep. <laughs> you got to hook up the Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hooked up our uh, cargo van pretty quickly and we we're ready to move on. But uh, <laughs> and that's something if you're curious, we've actually not just had a class A and a travel trailer, we've had a fifth wheel, and we've had another travel trailer all in four years. We've done all this stuff. And through all that, I created a course on all these different RVs and how to find the right RV. That's the right fit for you. Cause essentially that's what we've done over the four years is I don't even view those as necessarily being the wrong RV, but we just picked our different RVs for different phases of life and what fit us the best. And we're in a phase right now where a 30 foot Airstream fits us. Uh, but I think earlier, especially early on the 43 mm -hmm. foot fifth wheel uh, was a good fit for us. We get that question yeah. quite a bit and it <laughs> it's is, it's very overwhelming. It's a lot. When you're yeah. buying an RV and you're putting a lot of money into something and there are so many factors um the style of camp the the speed of camping like and there's lots of numbers involved too with weights yeah so yeah. we tried to put all of that information together in one course to make that super helpful for people who are who are looking to get an rv so pretty much created what i wish was there when exactly. i started rving and if you want a shortcut to that information check out that course and if you got questions comments let us know along the way as well we're going to call it a night, get some rest, and uh, looking forward to Waco next. Be sharing that with you guys. But until then, we'll catch you guys later.